Hey friends, on today's quick video, I'm gonna walk you through the setup process for this Amazon Echo. It's pretty simple, let's jump into it right now. Okay, inside the box, we are going to find our main speaker, which we'll take a closer look at, as well as our plug and power adapters. Now, in order to set this up, we do need to download the Amazon Alexa app onto our smartphone, and then we need to power the device using the power plug. Okay, and there is our Echo Dot straight out of the box. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is power up the device. Basically, we're gonna take this end of the cable, we'll put it down in the lower slot down here, and then we'll plug this end into the wall. You can see that as you power up the device, you have a nice, cool halo ring down here in blue. Your device is ready for setup. Just follow the instructions in your Alexa app. Okay, you'll see an orange light when the device is ready for the setup process. Again, we need to download the app onto our phone. We'll go ahead and do that from the app store since we're using an iPhone and we'll jump over there. Okay, we've downloaded the Alexa app onto our iPhone. And as you can see, it's asking us to sign into our Amazon account. If you don't have one, you can click that bottom button and create an Amazon account. Okay, now once you've signed into your account, there's gonna be a few features that you can personalize. As you can see, you can allow Alexa to have access to your contacts. I'm gonna go ahead and continue on this. I am going to not allow it this time. Again, this is something you can set up in the future, but what I'm gonna do is click don't allow. So we have a phone number that's registered with our account and this specific setting allows the device to send you notifications. Again, I don't wanna do this at this point, so I'm gonna click later. Okay, if you're just setting the device up for yourself, then that's it. If you wanna set it up for an additional person who may be in the household and has an Amazon account, you can also do that. Again, this is just me, so we're gonna continue. Okay, now there's all sorts of interesting things that you can do with Alexa. Again, we're just walking through the absolute basic setup process. So go ahead and get to this page. You can see there's multiple things that you can add. You can link music services, shopping lists. You can link your Audible account, which you can see that I have done, and as well as set up a to-do list. Okay, now what we need to do is actually link the device with our home. So what we're gonna do is go down to the very bottom. You can see there's a little icon called devices. Let's click on that. And as you can see, we have multiple things that we can add, thermostat, light, switches. So from here, what we need to do is click that little plus button in the top right-hand corner. And as you can see, we can add a device group or combine speakers. Again, for us, what we wanna do is add a device. So I'm gonna click the top one. Now it's gonna ask us what type of device we are setting up. I am gonna be setting up an Amazon Echo at the very top there, let's click that. And then what we're gonna do is click the top button again under smart speakers. And as you can see, it's asking is it plugged in and displaying the orange light. And as we saw before, it is in that orange configuration. So let's go ahead and click yes. Now remember, you do need to have your Bluetooth set up for this process. So if your Bluetooth is on, it should recognize the Echo in your room. We're gonna click on that Echo 0D3. Now the other thing that's important to have is your Wi-Fi on and enabled. The device will ask for permission to access your network. This is where it's going to download and get all the information that it gives you. So make sure your Wi-Fi is on. It'll connect to your Wi-Fi and then you will hear a prompt from the device saying it's ready. As you can see, if we go back to our devices here that we now have Echo and Alexa, if I click the top left-hand corner, we've got Scott's Echo there and available. So we are now all set up and ready to test out the device. Alexa, what time is it? It's 11.22 a.m. So there you go. Again, that's just a real basic prompt. We can set this up to be able to do all sorts of great things in including playing music from either our Amazon account or from places like Spotify. Friends, I hope this has helped. Again, there's a lot more things to set up and look at, so stay tuned to our channel. We're actually gonna show you a bunch of those setup processes. Those videos will be released soon, and we'll see you again on the next one.